Mr. Crothers' papers can be found on vixor.org, author Stephen J. Crothers. Uh, I agree with Mr. Crothers' viewpoint on both the black hole and Big Bang. I agree that black holes are figments of the imagination and that Big Bang is essentially pseudoscience. It's fake science. How does one test the beginning of everything? They don't. It's, it's fake science. I don't know why it's uh, being pushed inside of the establishment as being valid. It's completely invalid. And Mr. Crothers has done us the favor of debunking both black holes, as you can see here, wormholes, and Big Bang, and general relativity, and bicep 2. Basically, Mr. Crothers has put in a lot of effort to show us that what we have been told by establishment science is mostly nonsense. Mostly nonsense. Like the discovery of the Higgs boson, which for my readers and listeners, I also believe is nonsense. I think the Higgs boson is political in nature. They never found anything. The reason why they had to claim that they found something is so that they could build the collider bigger and pour more money into an experiment that doesn't actually have a hypothesis. Which, for my readers, they should know that an experiment without a hypothesis isn't an experiment. They just they just built that thing to see what happens. It's like throwing a rock off of a bridge just to see how the rock hits the water. They didn't have any ex the uh, hypothesis. They didn't have any guesses. They just wanted to pour money into this giant thing and they never knew what was going to happen. Was, uh, they just had to grab some dude that wrote up these equations back in the 60s say, hey look, look, we were looking for this the entire time but we all know, I think the public knows that it's just a bunch of political nonsense. Um, but anyways Mr. Carlos has done one excellent job here, pointing out all these alleged discoveries. He has pointed out all the times in which he reasonably addresses all of these cosmological issues, which for some reason are ignored. Now, cosmology to me is turning out to be something of a pseudoscience. You have nobody that can question it from outside their little groups. You have no reasonable tests for a lot of these cosmological things, such as the, the entire universe coming out of nothing. Come on. That's absolutely insane. And even here, it says general relativity in acknowledgement of Professor T. Hoof's Nobel Laureate. This one's really, really funny. Because basically he calls out this Nobel person as being full of nonsense. And he takes the bait. And then he shows him, shows the public that this Nobel Laureate was actually full of nonsense. If you'll click on some of these, you'll see a lot of the replies and comments and how nasty establishment physics, physicists really are and how nasty cosmologists are when people call them out on their, uh, on their fantasies. But anyways, read, read all these papers and tell me what you think. I've, I've read a lot of them. They make sense to me. He breaks a lot of this information down in easy to understand bits and pieces. 
And basically, I think this should wrap things up.